I'll be honest with you, most of the beginner developer confuse themselves by taking this extra burden that they have to learn DSA. Companies are looking for only DSA developer. If you can't learn DSA, you will have no job, no opportunity in the industry. Like DSA is not something like that you will learn in one go. DSA you will learn continuously when you start working on the project. So if you focus entirely on DSA, you will have a very hard road map when it's come to learning a programming language. First of all, I would suggest you to focus in one particular programming language. Try to understand that how to play with the data in that particular programming language. If I pick a JavaScript, you have to be very good in the all the JavaScript methods we have, which we utilize on the array. So you have to know all of these basic things. You don't need to take the extra course, extra curriculum, which you have to focus and deal in totally DSA. You don't need to do that. The fastest way to learn any programming language, any technology is to learn the basics and build the project. When you will build the project, you will automatically understand that how you are utilizing those data, how you are building the data structure and utilizing in the application. So if you are having a data, how you can go to manipulate the data so it's create less bandwidth on your backend server. So you're going to learn all of this when you want to work on the project. You don't need to start focusing straight away on the DSA and learn all of the topics. I'll be honest with you, right now most of the companies are looking for a full stack blockchain developer or if you talk about the Web2 technology, they don't want to be specific to DSA only. Like if you have a DSA, it doesn't mean that you will get a job at internship. Like having a strong understanding of DSA is good, but you are a beginner. You have to learn the programming language and build the project. That should be your motive. So when you go to work in the industry, when you want to work on a large scale application like e-commerce, then you're going to build the architecture and apply all those methods as we have in the DSA. And you will learn automatically. You will learn automatically because you're going to utilize it in practical way. You don't need to focus on DSA completely and learn all the terminology, all the methods, and you don't utilize it in the actual project and you forgot it. That's what I have seen. So as a beginner, if you are in third year, focus on one particular programming language and build a project. When you will start building the project, you will automatically understand that how you are utilizing this DSA. I never focus DSA straight away. Like my first three years of career, I was a full stack blockchain developer. Later, I start building complex project and bigger project there. I focus on a little bit DSA. But I had my understanding that how I have to implement and how I have to make it more efficient. And you will get it automatically. You don't need to focus on it specifically. A lot of I have seen a lot of you are taking this DSA course, DSA bootcamp, like DSA coding round. It's good. If you have a lot of time, then you can definitely go and do all of that. A better project, that's what you're going to add in your portfolio. So focus in one particular programming language and build project around it. It will help you a lot and it will also increase your understanding around DSA.